Have you ever looked up at the night sky on a clear night with no lights around and wondered what was up there? Well, I'm going to tell you about that. Hi, I'm Jessica Schertz, Basics of Astronomy. The stories I will be talking about is the eight planets plus Pluto, the rocky dwarf, and the dwarf planets. The different types of stars, which is dwarfs, main sequence, giants, and supergiants. The nebula, mission, dark, reflection, and planetary. And the different types of galaxies, which is spiral, elliptical, lenticular, and irregular. The eight planets plus Pluto. In order, it, they are the rocky planet, which is Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. The gas giants, which is Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune plus the dwarf planet Pluto. Mercury, it's the closest planet to the sun and the smallest. The temperature ranges from negative 300 degrees Fahrenheit to 800 degrees Fahrenheit. That's because it doesn't really have an atmosphere so it loses the heat. It takes 88 days to orbit the sun. Venus, it's the second planet and the planet's most similar to our own. The atmosphere has a greenhouse effect which traps heat. The temperature is around 860 degrees Fahrenheit. And they have Venus transits. They're very rare. This is when a planet crosses in front of the sun. The pattern is when there's a pair of transits eight years apart with a gap of 105 years. And then there's another pair 12 years apart followed by a gap of 121 years. These are some pictures of the Venus transit. The one, last one that just happened was June 5th, 2012. The one before that was June 8th. And there will be a gap of 105 years. Earth, third planet from the sun, supports life, has water, one moon, and the volcanoes. The largest volcano is Mauna Kea if you're not including above sea level. Earth's moon. The moon formed when a protoplanet the size of Mars collided with early Earth. It sent a part of Earth into orbit and the debris collected to form the moon. The first known recording of a lunar eclipse was in 2000 BC in Mesopotamia. It rotates as much as it orbits, meaning there is a side we can never see, called the dark side. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun and the planet most looked at to see if it's carrying life. It has two moons, Phobos and Deimos. The biggest volcano in the solar system is Olympus Mons, that's on Mars. Jupiter, it's the fifth planet from the sun and the biggest. It's called a failed star, but it isn't because it didn't start converting helium and hydrogen like the sun does. It has the great red spot, 63 plus known moons. And the four biggest moons starting from the closest to Jupiter is Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. And the picture on the left is of the four moons on the side. And the other picture is a close-up of the great red spot. And Saturn. It's the sixth planet from the sun. It has the famous rings. It has the great white spot. There are auroras on Saturn, but they're different from the ones on Earth. 61 plus moons. The four biggest moons are Enceladus, Dion, Titan, and Mimas. And Uranus, seventh planet from the sun. It was found only by the aid of a telescope. It spins on its side instead of like that. 27 plus moons. It looks like a green disk from the methane in its upper atmosphere. And Neptune, it's the eighth planet and the last planet from the sun, found by its gravitational pull it had on Uranus. It has the great dark spot, there are 13 plus known moons, and then it has a more striking blue color from the methane. And Pluto, as of 2006, Pluto isn't a planet anymore. The reason is it hasn't cleared the area where it orbits, and it crosses orbit with Neptune. And since Pluto is so far away, it's hard to get a good picture. This is the best picture they have of Pluto. 
And last time I gave my presentation, there was only three moons, Sharon, Nix, and Hydra. But four days later, they came out with a picture, an astronomy picture of the day, saying there was two more moons orbiting Pluto, P4 and P5. And the different types of stars, there's supergiants, giants, main sequence like the sun, and dwarfs. The supergiants, they're the biggest type of, of star. It's at the end of the life. The surface temperature is between 2,000 degrees Celsius and 7,000. The picture with the sun that size, the, the star that size, the sun would be a little dot that's blown up so you can see it. And the red giants, it's a smaller type of star than the supergiant. It's the beginning of its life if it started out as a massive star. It's at the end of its life if it started out as a sun-like star. The surface temperature is between 2,000 degrees Celsius and 5,000 degrees Celsius. The main sequence stars, it's a sun-like star, the beginning of its life. The surface temperature is between 2,000 degrees Celsius and 30,000 degrees Celsius. And the sun is 5,505 degrees Celsius. And then the dwarfs. There's red, brown, blue, black, and white in color. They're very small stars from the star compressing at the very end of its life. The surface temperature ranged from 30,000 degrees Celsius and 8,000 degrees Celsius. And then the types of nebula. Emission, dark, reflection, and planetary. The emission nebula are clouds of gas and dust glowing from stars. The stars are in or near the clouds of gas, and these are most often star-forming regions, like the Tarantula Nebula and Eagle Nebula. Dark nebulas blot out light from stars behind the nebula, and it absorbs the light. So that in the Milky Way, there's the Coalsack Nebula, and it looks like a little hole, because there's no light behind it. Reflection Nebula. Dust is reflecting light from nearby stars. And then the Pleiades and Trifid Nebula. And Planetary Nebulas. These are different because they're heated material shed from dying star. And usually a star is in the center of the material being shed. There's no star forming regions. And the Helix Nebula, Cat's Eye Nebula, and Veil Nebula. And then the different types of galaxies. Spiral, elliptical, lenticular, and irregular. The spiral. Old stars are in the center. The young stars and star-forming regions are in the arms of the galaxy. And it contains a lot of gas and dust, like the pinwheel galaxy. The blue would be the star-forming regions and the Andromeda Galaxy. That's the best galaxy to see at night in the fall. An elliptical. It contains old stars. They appear as large blobs and doesn't contain much of any star-forming regions. These galaxies are usually perfect spheres. Lenticular. They contain old stars in the center, and around it is dust and stars giving it a lens-like shape. It doesn't contain young stars or dusty glowing star-forming regions. Irregular. There's no distinct shape. It contains a lot of gas and dust and hot blue stars. Usually even dwarf galaxies have more star-forming regions than normal spiral galaxies. And the Jupiter's ghost galaxy is, doesn't have the distinct shape. The antenna galaxies are two that ran into each other, and they're a distinct, there's no distinct shape from that. In conclusion, I talked about the eight planets plus Pluto. Then I talked about the stars, the dwarfs, 
main sequence, giants and super giants. Then I talked about the nebulas, emission, dark, reflection, and planetary, and then the galaxies, spiral, elliptical, lenticular, and irregular. And I got my information. I got some pictures from Google. I got more pictures from Astronomy Picture of the Day, which is a website you can go look up pictures, and they have new pictures every single day. And every once in a while, they have a video, and those are really cool. And then the information I got from the Practical Astronomer by Will Gator and Anton Van Plew, the Backyard Guide to the Night Sky by Howard Snyder, the New Solar System, Ice Worlds, Moons, and Planets Redefined by Patricia Daniels and Robert Burnham. Are there any questions? The question is, how did I get interested in this particular topic? Well, my grandma got me a telescope, and the first night I went out to go look at the Milky Way, and that was it was really cool to see, and so I'm interested. Are there any other questions? If there aren't any other questions, this concludes my presentation.